that's why Valheim is my jam. Gotta get back on the boat. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Let me just get my body. Fuck! Let me escape. Let me escape. Damn it! I'm fine. I'm I'm fine. I'll just roll away. God damn it! I don't know if I want to. Fuck! Get the hell out of here. What? I hate this game. Welcome to the Ashlands, a place of suffering and misery. This update is great in almost every way, but holy shit, the amount of baddies you encounter is going to give me an anxiety disorder. Sailing through the hazardous boiling ocean is tense and exciting. Then the moment you land on the fiery isle, you'll feel as if you just beached Normandy in 1944. I recommend having some kind of base as close to the Ashlands as possible without actually being in the biome, because sailing all the way to the bottom of the map just to get absolutely destroyed is a pretty traumatic experience. First off, the level design is awesome. It's basically everything I hoped for in this update. Creepy, intimidating, and full of red hot tomato soup. It's nice to find those little jars in the castle ruins that yield metal like iron so you can easily build the new teleporter that allows you to transport anything through it. Just guard that teleporter with your life. What? The unique enemies you encounter are cool, interesting, and all have their own way of trying to kill you. Each one is pretty simple to defeat on their own, but having a bunch of different baddies come at you at the same time will have you shitting diamonds. That is ridiculous. How the fuck are you supposed to fight that fucking many? The skellies come in four different flavors. Great sword, bow, these mangy little fuckers, and the warlocks who only hang out in fortresses and whose sole purpose is letting you know that you're not welcome in their home. You have these beefy lizards who can catch up to you really fast to chomp your head off, but are very susceptible to arrow damage, so sniping them from afar will give you a massive advantage. Or these birds are not very much of a threat, but sometimes can be just enough of a distraction for a great sword skelly to stab you in the back of the head. Then we have these monstrosities. Their attacks are pretty easy to predict, but can take quite a few hits before they go down. They also look disgusting. In a good way. Oh my god, what the yeah, fuck is that? There's also fire blobs. Blob. Did you just call me Blob? And last are the Fallen Valkyries. These bitches are annoying as fuck when you're trying to fight other baddies. Best thing is to pelt them with whatever ranged attacks you have as soon as you see these bastards wandering around in the skies. The elite version of the enemies aren't too bad except for the two-star greatsword skeletons that will one-shot you most of the time. <sighs> <sighs> if you want the special Ashlands flaming sword, you'll be dealing with a lot of elite skellies. They have their own spawner that only spawns elites next to the sword parts and it's not very easy. The new heavy armor looks fucking badass. The rest are okay. Recently I grew fond of the Ask armor because of the buffs it gives, but I was told I'd look like a slug and now I can't unsee it. One of my favorite additions is the new structures. The wood flooring, decorative panels, new stone. It really goes well with the older structures and allow for some pretty cool building designs. The new siege weapons are also fun, although it's embarrassing how long it took us to figure out how they work. The new weapons are dope. I love the designs of the massive two-handed sword, but was kind of disappointed with the damage. Maybe it's just me, but it felt pointless when the one-handed sword feels like it does just as much DPS as the two-hander. The enchanted weapons are a very nice addition, but I think the only one that's really useful is the poisoned one. And in the Ashlands, it comes in handy big time. I recently started using the double poison axes and having a lot of fun with them. Now let's talk about the drawbacks. The stuttering gets really annoying, especially when you're jumping across a lake of lava and the game stutters right when you're mid-jump to the next platform. The music also stutters, which had me turning off the music because it got pretty annoying after a while. Which is a shame because the music's actually really good, especially the new boss. The music is fucking awesome. But my biggest complaint by far is this bullshit. It's hard enough trying to mine metal off a tall spike protruding out of lava, but to have this shit when you're floating on perfectly landable ground is just horse. I've been going back and forth when it comes to the difficulty. Sometimes the amount of enemies spawning on you is ridiculous. Holy fuck. But if you're careful, plan ahead, pick off enemies from afar, and when playing with friends have good teamwork, the difficulty is manageable. But sometimes you will stare at your dead character wondering what you did to make the game devs hate you so much. Why are we putting ourselves through this torture? Overall, I think the Ashlands is a great update. Not everyone will love the difficulty level. I'm on the fence about it, but I don't think I want it changed. I can only imagine how difficult the next update will be. We completed the Ashlands. We have conquered it. Just never play this game again. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hit me, you suck. I'll try again. Ow! <laughs>